Hey guys, it's Tanya with Delilah Design and I am creating what I call a memory box out of a wooden canvas that I paint black, some IOD molds, and some copper and rust patina. So stay tuned for that tutorial. So I layered several IOD um, molds to get this wing and heart design and I'll show you guys how I did that and which molds I use. So I use the cherry mold um, and the fleur de lis and I'm using this big heart right here and the little heart. Okay, so I have glued down my little chair and I'm going to kind of press out the details of her face. This always makes me feel a little bad, but <laughs> it's for a good cause. Um, we want it just to be more flat. Sorry. because the heart is going to go on here. So you want to put some glue on the back of your heart. I'm just using a pop, like a thin popsicle stick. And I, I'm using Aileen's Tacky Glue. You can use any kind of glue that you prefer. And I just smear it on the back. You can use a brush also. Just whatever works best for you. I like this because you can smear it on and then pull. It works pretty well. I also like to use um, Tight Bond Quick and Thick. That's really good too. I just don't have any right now. Alright, so you're just going to put your part over the kind of middle area. And then you want to press down all the edges gently um, so that they'll dry in place well. That's good. And I like this point to kind of be in the middle. And I kind of push that little part on the top. I push it down a little. Okay, so that's that. And then we have our little heart. And we're gonna do the same thing just to give our design um, some dimension and layer it up a bit. And then I, I mainly want to line up the points and then at the top and I kind of want this one in the middle and you do the same thing you gently press down all the little sides um, and you want to come back and check it and make sure sometimes they'll kind of lift up on their own Of course, we're going to paint over this, but yeah, I love the dimension of the two hearts. And with the heart, um, I always like to use something to draw a little, little line down the middle. I just feel like it gives a little more interest there. Okay, so I'll 
and let that dry and then I'm gonna, I'll show you what I do on the next step.